What is the equation of the line that passes to the point 2 comma 4 that cuts off the least area from the first quadrant? So I just drew a line here that's going through 2 comma 4 in the first quadrant. I drew it this way because it doesn't make sense to draw it the other way. So like if we have something like this, this area would be infinite. So it, we're looking for the least area, so obviously it has to be small. Okay, so we have this line here, and the key here is to say, okay, this is going to cross the x-axis at a point A. So the x-intercept is A comma 0, and now we can find the slope. We just do 4 minus 0 over 2 minus A, and we're going to use y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So we know that uh, y0 is 0. zero because we're using this point as the as a point and then we have a slope is 4 over 2 minus a x minus and then the x value here is a and so the area well we know that this length right here is going to be a and then this value right here we have to use the equation at x, at x equals 0 so when we plug in x equals 0 here we have 4 over 2 minus a and then multiply that by negative a, so I'm just going to put it like this. So this part is the height, and this is the base. So we want to minimize this area. So the way we're going to minimize the areas by, uh, well, first let's get an equation. So let's simplify the equation, rather, to 2a squared over a minus 2, and then take the derivative. So we do the derivative. We take the derivative by using the quotient rule. We get 2a squared minus 8a over a minus 2 squared. And here I can factor out a 2a and have a minus 4 left in the top. And the reason I factor it is because I want to set this equal to zero, and I also want to look at when it's not defined because I'm looking for the critical point. So notice. If I set 2a equal to 0, we get a is 0. If I set a minus 4 equal to 0, we get a is 4. And if you set a minus 2 squared equal to 0, we get a is 2. Okay, so this, these first two make the, the derivative equal to 0. The last one makes it undefined. Okay, so these are going to be our critical points. Plug in values um, between these. For inside the derivative and we see that it's positive negative negative and positive so the area is increasing decreasing decreasing and increasing we're looking for a minimum so over here at a equals 4 we see that there is a minimum and so that's going to be the value we plug in to the equation so recall the equation was 4 over 2 minus a times quantity x minus a. Plug in a equals 4 to get our final answer of y equals negative 2 times x minus 4 or y equals negative 2x plus 8.